Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Looks like that. Forgot to write it down right off the bat. The absent minded professor here to describe for you a popular. VHF antenna. It's sometimes used at UHF, but it can also be used at HF, high frequencies. Uh, it comprises two horizontal dipole antennas. One of the dipoles, uh, they're at oriented at 90 degree angles. In this particular example, one of the half-wave dipoles is oriented east and west, and the other one north and south and they're fed 90 degrees out of phase. That's a quarter of a cycle, and the easiest way to do that is to use a coaxial feed line and then split the feed line in two, and uh, that will cause you to get, uh, instead of, say, 52-ohm line, you will end up with a 25-ohm line, so a two-to-one mismatch, which is tolerable. Uh, at the splitting point. Just barely tolerable, but it, most transceivers will accept it. Then at this center point, you connect one of the feed lines through a ballon, one-to-one -one ballon here, and the other one here. So you have your two feed lines. Uh, I might, uh, oh, I'll denote them in black, seeing as I've got black already lined up. One of the feed lines goes to a ballon here and to your station. The other feed line to a ballon here. A quarter of a wavelength electrically longer to your station. I'm a little sloppy with my uh, drawing, but you can forgive me, right? This extra 90 degrees or a quarter of a cycle will only apply at one frequency. So this is a single frequency antenna. Say you might want to design one for 40 meters. Now what kind of a horizontally polarized radiation pattern are you going to get when you do that? Well, it turns out that you get a nearly omnidirectional pattern but you sacrifice about 3 dB of gain from a regular dipole. About 3 decibels of gain because you're splitting the power between the dipoles. To some that's not a big deal. To others it is. The omnidirectional characteristics of the antenna matter more to some than to others. But because it's omnidirectional, it's likely to pick up more noise. But that is the primitive version called the normal mode version. Normal mode. Normal mode version of a turnstile antenna. Um, now you don't hear the term turnstile antenna very often anymore. You hear that more in regards to people who like to hang their clothes out in their backyard when it's not going to rain in the afternoon as it is right now here in the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Antennas. But that's uh, the basic meaning of the normal mode turnstile antenna. Stan Jabalisco, W1GV, saying 73, and so long, which, on a turnstile antenna or any other type, always translates in my native fist into so long, di-di-di-da-di-da. Di, 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 di.